My name is Darren Briggs, and I play violin. But my real thing in life seems to be that I know how to teach. Okay, okay. so I'm going to carry three violins. Are we ready? Yep. Okay, we're all going down. You may come back. How do you like my cowboy? Talk about the garage sale. You know, how you go out there, set it up, and then... Well, I, I bring the instruments out to interest the public, the unknowing public, about things astronomical. If they buy them, I'm, I welcome them to buy them. But I'm really out there to interest people in learning. Why a garage sale? Well, where would I have the opportunity to meet people who don't know anything about it? to tell people, I said, have you ever played the violin? Have you ever held a violin? And they say, no. And I said, good, you're a good candidate. In fact, the teacher recognizes a pupil before the pupil recognizes a teacher. Tell me you like the teenager's tale. Okay, there you go. Right All right, I'll show you. I'd like to show people that they can play a scale in less than 10 minutes. And they say, oh, I couldn't possibly do it. I said, if you just learn, if you learn to listen, and you pay attention, you'll be able to play a scale in 10 minutes. You just put one finger down, the normal width of your finger is a whole step. How beautiful is that? You gotta work on it to make a half step. And your ear puts it into the real, into the real position. The violin is sequential, it's uniform, it's ergonomic, it's built for the human body. I've tried to learn guitar, lost it, lost my frustration, said no. The violin seems much easier than any other instrument to play. The problem with adults is that they often feel traumatized if they're learning something new, or they feel they're stupid if they don't get it quick enough. From the sound, when Darren plays, I swear, it's just like zen. I could sit there and just be like, hey, you know, life's much simpler than this. I think that playing the violin prepares you more for mental sensitivity. because it gives them the equipment, how to listen, and how to, how to deal with that, without psychological overloads. And the way Darren's taught me is when it comes down to music, it's basic, it's constant. You can, you can calm it down, slow it down, back up, get back to the basics, go to your one, two, three. For the most part, classical music is definitely more common than nowadays music. Why do you think that is? Because it's so simple. The notes are so simple. It's basic. It gets you back to, you know, what life really is about. You step one foot in front of the other.
reason that this music appealed to you when I was playing out on the street with a student of mine is because it's organized sound. Everything around you is disorganized sound. Music has that organization or that potential of being perfect. streets with your students? There's a lesson to be learned. They have to learn how to be focused into the now. So what better way of doing that is to have the distractions all around by traffic and cars and noise and still have to be here. They can't be worried about the perception of other people. That's primarily why I teach violin, because it's the most transformational thing I know how to do. I teach him how to learn, how to listen, and have attention and focus in the moment. If they do that, they can do anything. I think violin is the most rewarding of all the instruments. I love the violin literature and I love the sound it makes. And if you have those qualifications, if you like the sound, you can learn the violin. Character is not developed by DNA. Character is developed by your own efforts. Thank you.